Hello and welcome to this lesson on electrical power and work done, which is part of the electricity topic in AQAA level physics. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at how you can calculate power and work in electrical circuits. So if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson, we should be able to define what electrical power and electrical work done is, calculate electrical power and electrical work done from values given, and understand how we can carry out an experiment to investigate power dissipation and potential difference. So in this lesson, we're going to carry out the following part of the specification, a 3.5.1.4 electrical circuits. So in previous lessons, we've defined the key terms of electricity. So we've looked at current, charge, potential difference and resistance. So current is the flow of charge at any given point of a conductor and is measured on pairs. Charge is the property of matter that means it produces and interacts with an electro electromagnetic field and is measured in coulombs. Potential difference is the work done out of a circuit per unit charge to move the charge carriers in a current and is measured in volts. And resistance is the difficulty of making current flow through a component and is measured in ohms. Now we've looked in previous lessons in GCSE about the equations which link these quantities together. So what are these equations? So the equations are current is equal to the charge divided by the time taken, charge is equal to the current times by the time taken, potential difference is equal to the work done divided by the charge, resistance is equal to the potential potential difference divided by the current and EMF is equal to the work done divided by the charge. Now you must be able to use these equations for your examinations. Now these equations are stated for you in the equation, examination equation book for the exam. Now we can actually use these equations to derive another equation of electrical circuits, the equation of power. So consider a component or a device that has a potential difference V across its terminals and a current I passing through it. So in a time delta T, we can say that the charge is equal to current times by the time taken and that the work done by the electrons is equal to charge times by the potential difference. Now we have just stated that charge is equal to I times by delta T. So we can sub that in and say I delta T times by V is equal to the work done by the charge carriers, in this case, the electrons. And from that, after we substitute that value of charge into this equation, we can then say that the energy transfer delta E in the device is the work done, and we know that power is work done over time, as, and then we can substitute in our previous understanding of work done into this equation and say that it's I V delta T over T. The, R, the two T's cancel through to then say P power is equal to I times by V, which is a very famous equation that you covered at GCSE. So we can say that power is considered the amount of work done per time and we can rearrange this equation to also say that current is equal to the electrical power over the potential difference or that potential difference is equal to the electrical power over the current. So electrical power is how much electrical work is done through the circuit every single second. So you can consider electrical power as the as the rate at which the energy changes store in an electrical system and we can calculate it with the following equation. Power in watts is equal to potential difference in volts times by current in amps. So to consider this concept of electrical power, we can consider a light bulb in an electrical circuit. Now, any electrical device will dissipate power. This means they'll carry out work done every single second. So this work done is when energy changes store. So in this case of the lamp, we can say that the electrical energy store of a circuit is being turned into light waves and the thermal energy store of the surroundings. Now the standard general equation for power for any situation is power is equal to work done over time, but we've just now derived another equation for electrical power, which is potential difference times by current. Now we can then use a previous equation of electricity, resistance is equal to potential difference over current, to derive two more possible equations to calculate electrical power. So we know that the rate in which work is done to the output of a circuit is called power dissipation and is measured in watts, and we can calculate power dissipation with the following formulae. We can say that power is equal to I times by V, but we also know V equals IR, so therefore power is equal to IR times by I, so therefore it's equal to I squared R. 
We can also say P equals VI, and we know I is equal to V over R, so we can substitute that in. So we can say P equals V times by V over R, so therefore it equals V squared over R, which is another new equation for power. So by combining previously stated equations, we can calculate power by two other equations. Power is equal to current squared times by resistance, and power equals potential difference squared over resistance. Now, any of these equations can be used to calculate power. You've just got to select the correct equation based on the information given in the question. Now, please remember that these equations calculate the power dissipated in one device, not the entire circuit. Now, power is the rate in which work is done by a device. So we can find out the total amount of energy transferred or the work done by multiplying the equation for power by the time that the device operates for. Because we know that power is work done over time. So power is getting the most work done in the shortest amount of time. So therefore, work done is power times by time. So we can say that if we can take the work done between energy stores, it can be calculated by multiplying our power by our time taken but the time taken must be in seconds so we can now substitute the different equations for power into the work done equation so we can say that work done is equal to potential difference times by current times by time or that work done is potential difference squared times by time over resistance or work done is current squared times by resistance times by time so this leads to our following equations in electrical circuits so power is equal to vi or V squared over R, or I squared R. Work done is equal to VIT, or V squared T over R, or I squared R times by T. Now you can use any of these equations in an electrical circuit. You've just got to look to see which values are given in a question before you choose an equation. Now, I will personally choose an equation with the most given terms from a question, which is always better than relying on values you have worked out yourself in previous parts of questions. So just be careful about what you're working out with these equations, because remember, it only works out the power and the work done of one device in the electrical circuit. But you can use any of these equations in electrical circuits, and these equations are given to you in your AQA examination book for your exam. So to summarize, we should know that the energy and power equations are energy is equal to IVT and power P is equal to IV, I squared R and V squared over R. So if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson, we should be able to define what electrical power and electrical work done is. We should be able to calculate electrical power and work done from values given and carry out investigations to calculate power dissipation and potential difference. So thank you very much for watching this lesson on electrical power and work done, which is part of the electricity topic in AQA A-level physics. Thank you very much for listening and have a lovely day.